guys got a little DIY tool project today I'm going to be turning this right here into a little bead roller tool and by bead roller I just mean it's going to be able to mushroom out the aluminum enough for it to grip on for the clamp so it won't slip off just from like a, a flush cut because those clamps never hold on to them so I'm going to be turning this into a bead roller bead roller and it's going to be a relatively cheap project. This was only six dollars from Harbor Freight and I've been meaning to get an angle grinder anyway so I got one of these along with a handful of you know cutting discs and uh, all that fun stuff all together tools and the tool I'm going to ruin to make a better tool. Uh, it was like thirty thirty five dollars Harbor Freight can't really go wrong for the cheap stuff wouldn't really buy their tools for something that you need to be super reliable but I've had their heat gun for a couple of years and that hasn't burnt up yet and I know many people that have had these and they've also had good luck so fuck it uh, we'll see how this goes and I will uh, show you the process so now I'm just marking off where I'm going to be cutting I only need this section right here to actually form the metal so I'll probably be cutting off all that and to hold it steady obviously put it in the vise so I don't cut my finger off so we will jump to that not cutting the finger off we'll jump to cutting this all right so always safety first even if you can't see it through the safety glasses at least you won't get stuff in your eyes. Yeah. All right. Alright, so if you wanted to just leave it just like that, you could. Uh, what I'm going to do though, I'm going to smooth out the edges, make it look a little bit prettier, even though it's just uh, just a one purpose tool. Still want to grind the edges and make it look okay. But yeah, we will uh, jump to that. Grind down the edges so it's quite a bit smoother. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to notch just this inside portion on on this piece just that little portion right there because it's a very tight fit once the actual plier or bead roller I don't know what I really want to call it once that's compressed it's kind of open on the top so I'm going to leave that alone but for the purpose of using it on aluminum so the actual bead roll sections are able to do what they need to do. I just gotta make a little bit of room. So I'm just gonna take the grinder to it and should be the last step. Everything else is pretty good to go, but we will see how that goes.
This all be without a demonstration. Super easy. Obviously, you have it so the bump's out. I already tried it just to make sure it was working. Take some time. You just have to keep going around and have the same line. But as you can see, just a matter of seconds, there's a bump. And it's not tearing apart the aluminum either. So it's not like they're just going to break apart and fall into your motor, because if it does that, it's bad. But yeah, I call this a DIY success. It literally only cost me $6 for this tool. I needed the other stuff anyways. And I've kind of been putting off a few of the areas of pipe that were just straight cut. So now I think I only have to do like four pipe ends. So this will be pretty easy. And then when I'm under boost, the pipes won't pop off. The couplers will hold up. It's the easiest DIY I can actually think of doing. So I highly recommend it. You don't want to be out there with just straight cut pipes. They won't hold up to the pressure. $6 fix. Do it up. It's way better than paying, I don't know, three, $400 for an actual bead roller tool. This thing, super portable. I should know because I made one already and I've lost it before, but $6 fix. Do it up. Thanks for watching. Check out more of my videos. Next video I'm going to be doing Walbro fuel pump, um, Wix fuel filter, a few other things to try to fix my fuel issue. And then one or two more things on Dino Tune. So keep an eye out for that. But yeah, thanks for watching.